Hey there, it is me, Josh Conklin. Uh, so today is uh, another in iteration, rendition, another time. It's Bible talk. <laughs> it's Bible talk time. Uh, I really need to come up with a better name for all of these things I'm doing. Like I said, you know, Monday I'm posting stuff about real estate. Uh, Tuesdays I'm posting stuff, you know, about my family, what my family's doing. Um, then Thursdays, I'm posting nerd stuff. Uh, yesterday, I just posted a video about my lightsaber, so that was cool. Uh, and then Fridays is Bible talk time. Talking Bible, talking Bible stuff, talking ministry and stuff like that. Um, so, uh, what I've really had on my heart here recently um, uh, has to do with uh, a topic um, that I actually did a series on uh, years ago in uh, Shreveport, Louisiana at uh, the, the youth group I was running down there. Um, and it it was awesome. I honestly, I probably learned more than anybody in the process of uh, of doing uh, that series. Um, yeah, I, I learned I learned a lot, things that uh, I really wasn't expecting, uh, even just looking into uh, some of the words uh, <laughs> and their definitions and then their modern definitions and how they were complete opposites. So, without any further ado, what we're going to be talking about is identity. Um, and today is really just going to be kind of an intro to that. I'm not going to get too heavy into it, uh, just because I don't want these videos to go, like, super long. Because um, I don't think anybody would watch, you know, an hour-long podcast of me talking about the Bible. Uh, I probably wouldn't. I'd probably put it in, like, the background or something if I did. So, I'm going to try to keep these pretty short. So, this is really going to be, like, an intro. Um, I'm really excited about this one because I think, one, it's super important to how we view God, how we view ourselves, and how we live out our lives, um, and how we live out our lives with other people and in society. Um, so yeah, we're going to be talking about identity and, uh, you know, how we identify, how we, um, where we draw truth about our identity, um, and others' identities. Uh, you know, it goes without saying, um, anybody who's studied history even to the smallest degree um, will recognize the importance that identity and how people and people groups identify themselves and how people and people groups identify others. You know, there have been countless wars and, you know, fighting and arguments and really just violence and hate really just stemming from the idea that I identify as this, you identify as that, and thus we must be enemies. Um, so I'm hoping in the, the process of, of this topic, as we go into more videos, that, um, you know, perhaps we'll all learn something as to what our identities actually are, both individually and, you know, corporately as a society and as people on this planet, you know. Um, so to get into it simply, um, I first want to start in Colossians 2, uh, 8 through 10. Uh, this is kind of the core scripture that I used when I did this series. Um, it doesn't necessarily talk about identity, but it is a warning about where you get your belief system from, right? And a lot of what we're going to be talking about has to do with just belief system. Um, so, you know, we'll get into it. There, <laughs> there's a lot here. I'm like trying not to get like ahead of myself. So uh, let's just start here in Colossians. Colossians 2, 8 through 10. I'm going to be reading in the New King James Version. It says, Beware, lest anyone cheat you through philosophy and empty deceit according to the tradition of men, according to the basic principles of the world, and not according to Christ. For in him dwells all the fullness of the Godhead bodily, and you are complete in him, who is the head of all principalities and power. So we'll probably break that down at a later time, but we're going to keep coming back to this because I think it's really important for, for two main reasons. One, it's a warning of don't be fooled, don't be lied to, don't be misled about what the truth is. Don't let the world or society 
dictate your belief system about who you are and who others are, right? And then it goes on, it says, you are complete in him talking about jesus right so whatever you need your identity all of that because we're talking about identity so your identity who you are is only completed and truth and right in jesus and we'll, we'll get into that later you know it, it gets it gets pretty deep uh later on but uh i also like to start off when i'm i usually whenever i'm doing a series or something uh I like to keep things simple. So I usually have it just be like a one word thing. Um, you know, some people, they have like whole titles and gimmicks and everything. I'm usually just, I got one word. I got, okay, this is the word that we are talking about. You know, I like to keep it simple. I'm a simple man. So um, I like to start off with a definition, right? Just because I think it's important that everybody's on the same page. Uh, once again, a lot of conflicts in the world have started because a conflict of language, Right. You have two people saying the same things, or saying the same, saying the same thing, but meaning something completely different, right? Uh, so it's important that we're all on the same page um, with what words we were talking about and how we define them, right? So identity, uh, according to uh, the Webster's 1828 Dictionary, uh, which I recommend to everybody, uh, use that dictionary. It is a good dictionary. It'll bless you. The 1828 Dictionary is an oldie but a goodie. So the definition of identity in the Webster's 1828 Dictionary is sameness, as distinguished from similitude and diversity. So basically, in layman's terms, what that means is identity means the same as blank. So, you know, jumping into the, the principles of, uh, or the uh, law, the principle of identity, right? The laws of logic here is X equals x x cannot be not x x cannot be both x and not x right so a thing is that thing so basically what identity the definition of identity here in the 1828 dictionary is a thing is the same as the thing it identifies as right they are one they are the same right as distinguished, meaning so different than similar or diverse, right? Um, so to break it down once again, the definition in the 1828 Dictionary of identity is the same, to be the same as blank, right? X is blank, or X is X, right? So this thing, if it identifies as this thing, then they are the same. And then it goes on to say, distinguished from, so meaning that these next two words are not identity, being similar to or being diverse from, right? Now, uh, this is what kind of floored me when I was first studying this out. The modern Google definition, at least, you know, as of a couple years ago when I, when I was doing this, right? I just Googled identity. And what came up was the fact of being who or what a person or thing is. So you be what you be. And number two, a close similarity, which is the opposite of what the Webster's 1828 dictionary says, which says that identity is not being similar. But the modern definition is that identity can be similar. So it's like, hey, this thing is similar to me. You know, let's just break it down into something that we all kind of understand, right? In our modern society, people like to identify as things, right? People get really upset if they're, you know, reading a book or watching a movie or TV show or playing a video game. And the main, and they can't identify with the character, you know, because maybe it's uh, the wrong gender or uh, the, the wrong shade of skin color or, you know, the, the wrong not the same mental disability or whatever it is, right? They, they get kind of upset. It's like, oh, I need to identify with this thing to be able to relate to this thing. And so what they're saying is, oh, this person has something similar to what I have. Or this person, you know, in, in so certain ways is similar to me. So thus I identify as that. 
but that that's that's not what you know these definitions are saying and i think it's important that we also understand going back to you know colossians 2 8 through 10 where do we get our identification factors um and next time we get together um I'm going to break this down a little bit more, but it's so important that we build our identity off of something that is unmoving, unchanging, something that is absolute truth. Um, and being that this is Bible talk time, uh, <laughs> that thing is the Bible. We'll get more into that later. Uh, I also want to get into core identity and identity attributes just to break it down. Core identity is the basic foundation of your identity, which we'll get into next time. And identity attributes are like basically things attached to that core identity. Uh, the mistake a lot of people make nowadays is they take a identity attribute, you know, like something they like, some aspect of them, you know, uh, their, their, their skin color, um, where, you know, where they were born, what country, what geolo uh, geographical, <laughs> geological, what geographical region, you know, they were born or their family comes from, um, you know, their gender, something like this, right? Um, and when we're, when we're talking spiritually, when we're talking biblically, these are not core attributes. These are identity attributes. Or, yeah, these are uh, identity attributes. They are things attached to. They're, they're, they're the fun little sprinkles on top. They are great. They are all great. You know, if you are a woman, that is awesome. If you are a man, that is great. If you are black, white, Asian, that is awesome. You know, if you come from, from Germany, that is neat. You know, if you come from France, I am sorry. You know, if you come from America, wow, that's awesome. You come from Mexico, ole. You know, all of these things, they are great. They're awesome. I love the diversity. The world needs, you know, should be multiple colors, multiple, you know, uh, ideas. You know, I mean, just think of how terrible the world would be if we didn't have all of these different varieties of foods. Like, if the entire world was the, you know, northern Midwest of the United States, how bland of a world would that be? So I love celebrating all these identity attributes of people and of society, but they're not core identity. They're not who you are. They're just the sprinkles on top. So we'll get more into this uh, next time. Uh, you know, I was wanting to keep this around like 10 minutes, so we went a little bit over, uh, but there is just so much here that I want to talk about, and we'll get into it later. Um, I'm really excited about uh, this topic, so I hope you'll continue to uh, to watch and tune in with me as we uh, we get more into this, because it, it really is some awesome and exciting stuff. Well, you have an awesome day. I hope everything goes great for you. Um, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye.